myself three piece then this is if, if you're a battlefield fan crooked this is the battlefield you wanted i wish i could have my fan on it's too hot hey everyone it's azzy and today we're talking about battle bit you know that low poly massive multiplayer fps the one that has 254 uh servers or 254 player servers and they're absolutely chaos yeah let's talk about it so battle bit is released and one word wow wow for a game that's been developed by four individuals this game has definitely delivered so far now i'm gonna add some sort of disclaimer here uh as much as i don't want to admit i'm a bit of a graphic snob i definitely prefer um i prefer nicer graphics over gameplay or so i thought battle bit has given me countless hours of fun very balanced maps amazing gunplay and a rewarding progression scheme and that's whilst i'm playing this low poly game it's evident i like genre with good progression good mechanics simply put you're gonna have fun the best way i can start this off or describe this is this is the battlefield that we've all wanted without realizing it initiating satellite scan now, i'm a big fan of the battlefield franchise regardless of the direction things have gone lately <laughs> no 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 <laughs> old memories of battlefield 1942 battlefield 2142 uh, Battlefield 2 and 3 that definitely have special memories within gaming. Battlebit has given me or kind of given me the nostalgic vibes of those games. Battle Battlebit definitely captures the grand theme that we all love and miss dearly. With maps allowing you to traverse however you want, whichever way you want, rather than feeling that sh shackled and running down one corridor and you can't do anything because there's snipers and claymores everywhere. Let's not talk about claymores yet. Let's stick to the positives. Let's not talk about claymores. Weapons are also unlocked via your overall rank. So the more you play, the more you rank up, the quicker you can unlock that weapon that you've been keeping your eye on. Now, the weapon mechanics feel absolutely great. With customization at your fingertips, allowing you to change multiple sights, add four grips, add tactical sights like flashlights or uh, lasers or range finders. You have barrel attachments, silencers compensators uh heavy barrels all the things that you're pretty much used to in this kind of game and even extended mags recoil is definitely present and some recoil control is definitely necessary depending on what setup you have a red dot sight is very easily controllable compared to using an acog on an assault rifle it makes sense and different barrel attachments may change your vertical horizontal recoil whilst affecting your velocity your run speed your aim down sight speed and so on you unlock attachments via kills using that specific weapon and then you have several different types of weapons you have the assault rifle the submachine gun light machine guns the designated marksman rifle and the personal defense weapons also not forgetting sniper rifles you've got plenty of options and now some of these are locked to specific classes for an example the light machine guns are stuck with the support class did I mention classes are also back? You've got Assault, Medic, Engineer, Support, and Recon with all of their respective duties and strengths and weaknesses. I currently enjoy the Medic, Engineer, and Recon class. You'll find me playing those when I'm live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash UK. When I'm live, come check it out. Probably my favorite thing to be added within this game is open mic uh, death scenes. So whenever uh, you kill an enemy, their microphone is open regardless if they have muted it in discord or they want to mute it they're not pushing to talk or anything anytime you die it's open mic and sometimes it's quite funny you can either hear the enemy call outs informing their squad of your location someone may be having a little bit of rage or you know some friendly or not so friendly trash talk some of these have been amazing so the maps are good classes are good gun mechanics are good vehicles are good and the community is good so what's bad well, I wouldn't say anything is game-breaking, but this is just my opinion on one or two of the changes that I would love to see. First being a brilliant idea from a good friend and fellow creator called Colts. Colts has mentioned, as of right now, the only class that has the ability to heal full up to full health is the Medic. If you get into a gunfight and you get a bleed, every class currently has a bandage that allows you to stop a bleed. And if a teammate gets a bleed near you, you also have the ability to stop them from bleeding out too. However, after that bleed, regardless of time out of combat 
or, you know, time stood still, or whatever you want to think of, if you stopped your bleed, your, your health isn't going to be full. It's going to be somewhat low. Without no health bar or no percentage on a HUD, which I'm saying is a good thing. I, I don't want that on the HUD. You don't actually know how low you are. So you could be in a gunfight, you kill the enemy, you have a bleed, you stop the bleed. You don't really know what percentage you're on. You just know you're not full. But right now, until a medic comes to heal you or, you know, what everyone does is roll a medic, you're not going to be able to heal yourself. I fully agree with Colts here. And some form of slow health regeneration would be a really good direction, I think. It's not a game-breaking issue, but I think it could be something that changed the play style. Because at the moment, you're not playing a medic, you're running in, shooting, dying, respawning, doing the same again. If you don't have a medic being attached to you, holding right-click, you're probably not going to survive for too long. But, like I said, it's just an opinion. It's just something that I think could change a little bit. Another point that I have mentioned on stream occasionally is a slight balancing on guns rather categories than the guns themselves uh, at present if you're wielding an assault rifle you have the potential to win pretty much any gunfight you get into regardless of range regardless of what gun they use you're probably in the winning seat the damage output the rate of fire the clip sizes they will all save you if you're using a dmr from about 100 meters or 100 to 150 meters away the ars will still be able to kill you quicker it's just the recoil is there but it's controllable and the ars will probably absolutely laser you before you can get two or three shots out same goes for if you are really good at gun control you can probably beam snipers from 200 to 250 meters maybe even 300 meters maybe a little bit of gun balancing on the categories uh but again this current setup means your play style has to be accurate of the weapons you're using you don't expect to run into a CQB fight with a DMR and beat everyone with an SMG. It, it, it makes sense how it is at the moment. I just feel like any time I run into a fight or any, any gunfight I get into at the moment, if I have an AR, I feel well equipped. Whereas as soon as I run into a gunfight and I see they have an AR, the tables have turned massively. It's not game breaking. I'm just thinking out loud here. Currently, BattleBit is under £13 here in the UK. And I'm sure this price will go up later down the line, considering all the hype around it right now. To grab yourself a bargain, jump in with your friends and have an absolute blast. That, that being said, I do want to try and go back to one of the older battlefields to now compare these games and see what it would feel like. I think it could be an interesting experiment and if you agree, let me know in the comments. Now if you've got this far, consider subscribing to the channel to get notified on any updated content and why not throw a video a like to help push this video to others. I'll leave the rest of this game for you to see how it plays out as we ended up in quite a heated sniper battle, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, you fucker, didn't reload. Oh shit, I'm out of bandages. Thank you, thank you, dude. Peekaboo. I missed. Peekaboo. What? Get the fuck out of here. Do we trade? No. Thank you. Shot, sir. Ooh. <laughs> See? That perfect example there. I was out of combat for a little bit, but I can't heal. That is the, the horrible thing. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to promote team play. But that's not going to be the case. The case is going to be people are going to get fed up because they don't heal over time. I, I want to try a day where we play this and Battlefield 2042. 
and see what the the difference is or see what see what i'm missing from this and see what i'm missing from battlefield 2042 put them together and make a little video of it